Welcome to our Converting Act to Outlook presentation. When we convert an Act database to Outlook, we convert all the standard fields, and those include the addresses, the home, business, as well as any other address that you may have, the email addresses, as well as any phone numbers that you have. We also convert all the users defined fields, including the existing ones that you have in Act and any user defined fields that you have created. In addition, we convert notes, the history, sales opportunities, and the secondary contacts, and we put that information into the contacts body text. We convert all the meetings, calls, and to-dos into the Outlook calendar and the tasks. We convert the group membership for the contacts into the Outlook categories, and any photos that you have for the contact, those are converted into the equivalent photo field in Outlook. Our deliverables are a file, a PST file, that you can copy this file to any system. As long as the system has Outlook, you can access and open the file. You can mount this file into Outlook and copy the contents of the folders either within Outlook or to any Exchange folder that you may have on your system. And all the data in this uh, PST file can be edited, moved, viewed, uh, deleted, or do whatever you want with it. So what we have done here is convert the demonstration database that you get when you purchase ACT and, and convert it over to Outlook. As we can see, uh, we bring over the photos that are attached to the contacts, so those become photos in Outlook. Also, you can see that all the phone numbers are put up properly. Uh, by default, if the phone number is, uh, in this case, was a, a U.S. conversion, we strip the plus one uh, sign out. So, and, but you can see that international phone numbers, we maintain the country code for that phone number on the, on the actual phone number itself. Let's look at a couple of contacts and see how the data came over to Outlook. Let's go to Jim Curtis here, open it, and at the top we can see that all the groups in ACT have come over as categories, and um, most of them are primary categories, but then we see right below the hot deals category, there's a category with a subcategory, and that the subcategory is delimited by a full stop. In addition, you can, we can also see that uh, the phone numbers come over, the address, as well as the secondary contacts and sales opportunities. By scrolling down, we can, we'll go through all the notes, and on the notes themselves, we have the person who actually entered the notes. So the note ownership or who entered that also comes over, as well as the, the correct date for this particular note. So by going through the body text, we can actually see the everything, all the notes and history that are related to this particular contact, including the file and a attachment. So we have a history uh, with an attachment. So we, what we do, we provide the direct link to that uh, file, as well as we provide a hyperlink where you can actually click just open it, and here it is. So this hyperlink is embedded into Outlook, and you can actually have access directly to the file. So what we're trying to do is make it as seamless as possible. So while we're looking at uh, Jim Curtis, let's look at the details. And on the details, we have uh, the profession field, and that's where we put the ID status for uh, the individual. Also in the all fields we can look at the user defined fields and these are fields that exist in ACT but do not exist in Outlook so we create what is called the user defined fields in Outlook and the objective is so that no data from ACT is lost when transferring to Outlook so any data that Outlook does not have the fields for 
we bring it over to the user defined fields. Now that we have seen all the contact details, now let's go to the calendar items and see what information we bring over. We bring over all the calendar items for ACT. So all the meetings and calls go into the calendar. And if you open a meeting, you can see that all the contact details as well as the history are inserted into the actual meeting. History or notes. Uh, we put the, If there are notes, we'll put those as well. Also, for every meeting, we include the contact link. At the bottom here, the meeting is actually linked to the contact, as it, like in ACT. When you open the contact and you have the meeting there, here uh, in in outlook as well so if you if you click on if you double click on on the item uh, you can actually open the item and it will show you uh, who the owner of that meeting is so if you click on open contact now you have uh, direct access to the contact uh, right there so going back to the calendar uh, index now we can look at the tasks and on the tasks, we have the tasks that are listed or that are the to-dos in Act. So each to-do becomes a task in Outlook. So if we open the task, same thing. You can see the contacts, you can see the task, what it is, as well the contact details, or we put that on the notes, and any other field, any other data that is related to that contact. In this case, we have sales opportunities and the history for that task. At the bottom, we also have the contact link. So if we double, if you click on the contact link, double click on it, it gives us a, a summary, which is an Outlook 2010 uh, feature. This does not exist in Outlook uh, 2007, but in Outlook, in both of them, if you click on open the contact, you'll see that the contact exists there. So, so the tasks and the calendar items are all linked to the contact that originated them in ACT or in this case, they're linked to the Outlook contact. So where do we go from here? How do you convert your ACT database to Outlook? These are the procedures we follow. First, you have to purchase the conversion. That will start the whole process. We send you an email with instructions. And what are those instructions? Basically, it is for you to make a backup of your ACT database from the file menu in ACT, just go file, uh, backup database, and you back it up, and you get a zip file out of that. Then you, from the email we send you, you, you're given a link to upload the data to our site, and just use that link and upload the zip file to our site. We receive the zip file, we convert the data, and then we provide you with a link to download uh, your results, your Outlook PST, and with instructions on how to mount it into Outlook. Once the DAC, ACT data is in Outlook now, or the file that you received is in Outlook, it's available to you, and you can copy it, you can put it in other systems, you can do anything you want. So let's look at Outlook 2010 on how we add the file. So we click on the file, and then we click on the Open, on the open, we have the option open data file. We'll click on this, and basically it allows you to browse for the data file. We we'll click on my computer. Uh, this this is what we have in our, on our drives. We we'll click on Act Demo, and there's a couple of PST files that we have. You would receive your own PST. So we click on Chris Huffman here. Uh, just open that, and. Um, Always remember to go uh, at the bottom and, and do the folder list so you get the full folder list. And here we have the PST file. So you go down and all the contacts are now part of a PST file. Your whole conversion now is part of Outlook. So now you can just take any contacts, copy the, these contacts, and then paste them into any personal folders or into any folder that you have, either local or in exchange.